Ah, Final Fantasy XIV. A beautiful world filled with interesting lore, cat girls, and all sorts of degeneracy. If you're a veteran who's overcome the grueling task of completing the main story, then good job, lad. You're a certified social outcast. And you're probably ERPing in Oda, or Aveking in Limza, right? If you're a newer player who hasn't played before, then allow me to welcome you to your new prison. <coughs> you probably heard from all your friends, if you have any, that FF14 is a wonderful game with an even more wonderful community that is all too happy to help newer players. And a lot of shout out to those who don't agree with their opinions. Oh, but you don't have to worry about that last bit, because you're going to be a good little sprout and not complain. Ahem. <coughs> You've probably spent a good while watching guides of varying quality. Apart from this, this one's pretty good. And after binge-watching our friendly neighborhood demon, you should have overcome the first major challenge of downloading that damn thing. Aha, uh -huh, Square Enix, just let me give you money! Now this is where things get real. After booting the game and watching the amazing cinematic, Don't you dare skip cutscenes! After booting the game and watching the cinematic, you'll be presented with a wide range of options. And damn, everyone looks like a supermodel. Well, everyone apart from Hrothgar. Oh, but whatever you do, don't make a Lalafell. Like, come on, bro. The only reason you'd ever make a Lalafell oh. is because you weren't taking this seriously in the first place. Like, look at this goofy-ass potato. Do you honestly want to look like this during cutscenes? Just picture this. After a long-fought battle, you finally bring down your foe. The stale air is filled with the wonderful aroma of blood and sweat. You achieved victory, but was it worth the price? Your beloved companion, your trusted comrade, lays there. And yet, the final thing this gentle soul sees is a Lalafell. Ugh! Immersion ruined! Like, I am so sorry, but for the life of me, I just can't take these little guys seriously. I mean, it's not like you're a Twitch streamer who got cyberbullied by their own audience into playing one. So, why would you ever make one? Every time I see someone playing a Lalafell, I just can't help but wonder just what is going on inside of that head of yours. Why would you choose to play something so small and cuddly? Ugh, focus! Is it the animations? I guess they're a lot more expressive than the other races. Like compared to humans. Oh, sorry, I mean here. It's like night and day. Um, I guess it could also be because they're kind of adorable too. But why do I get this uneasy feeling that they're gonna rob me? <sighs> Of course, I understand that some people just like cute things. After all, I am one such person. That is why I am a certified believer in female aura supremacy. But, Lalafels, don't you think they're a bit too much? Well, I guess people like what they like. And so long as they're not doing anything which breaks terms of service, then it's whatever. And if you, the viewer, are currently playing a Lalafell, then... Uh... Hmm... Uh? Uh, no comment. Okay, now back to the character creator. If you're in the correct state of mind, you should be eyeing three races. Viera, Mikoti, and Aura. And I'm absolutely sure that you too would have come to the same conclusion that there is only one correct choice. To an onlooker, it may not appear obvious at first, but it is Aura. But not male Aura. Ugh! Bro, what is that running animation? <laughs> Crash Bandicoot looking ass. <laughs> just compare it to the female version. Bruh, this just ain't fair. If you made the mistake of playing male Aura, then I am so sorry. Not only did you get absolutely shafted when it comes to your own animations and posture, but my brother in Christ, you look like you crapped your pants. <laughs> <laughs> And to make matters worse, you've seen the memes, I've seen the memes, we we've all seen them. It's not looking good, male aura bros. 
Okay, if you picked female aura, then congratulations. Not only are you based, but you are clearly a patrician taste. You resisted your innate Kumar desire. You overcame your cardinal lust to make a basic ass cat girl who has <clears throat> white hair, maximum bust, minimum height, with a healthy dose of heterochromia, and who probably plays white mage. Phew, I have to say, good job. You unironically deserve to be rewarded. We all know that F14 is a Coomer game. And anyone who says otherwise just doesn't know what they're talking about. But to go against that very sentiment, huh, I guess you truly are based. But seriously, there is one major mistake I keep seeing newer players make time and time again. The type of mistake where a hundred hours down the line you end up regretting your choices. Wishing that if you had just a bit more context, you may have been able to pick a better way forward. And by that, I mean playing a healer in this goddamn game. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. And that perfectly sums up this absolute travesty of a role. And no, I am not talking about Savage. I am acutely aware that healing this tier got a bit more spicy, but the majority of the player base doesn't do Savage, and I am included in that majority. If you are a casual MSQ in Joya, that is clearly the target audience, then pick a job which doesn't make you want to benedict your brains out. I don't know man, playing this job manages to numb my brain more than playing frickin' Summoner and I did not know that was actually possible. So yeah, that's the video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like a month, but thank you for watching. I'm tired and I'm going to go sleep.